Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm going to channel for you today. process of analyzing much data that we receive from moment to moment there on earth. And we also have our nightly chats with those who come to us in the astral plane to discuss what is happening there on planet Earth and what is needed by humanity. We know that you have been accessing more of your spiritual gifts lately and that more and more people are presenting those gifts to the world. Be kind to those who are and recognize that you are there to support in the physical the accessing of the spiritual gifts and abilities of others and you will then be supported by others when you begin to put your gifts out there to be 
experienced by your fellow humans. And so when someone is just starting out and needs some words of encouragement, give those words of encouragement. And if you find yourself in that position and you are one of the ones who needs words of encouragement, but there is no one around to give them to you, then please do accept ours. We also want you all to be able to support yourselves. We want you to be kind to yourselves and to recognize that wherever you are on your path is where you are meant to be right now. You are not where you are because you did something wrong. And you are not where you are because you didn't try hard enough. You will always be in a place where there is more for you to access. And there will always be more growth for you to experience. Therefore, be very kind to yourselves and others as you explore the accessing and offering of your spiritual gifts. This is a big step forward for humanity. You don't just have a few major religions there on your planet to choose from. And you don't just have a few very prominent spiritual teachers to learn from. You have many more who are opening up to their gifts as healers, channelers, teachers, psychics, and so on. And when you support those who are doing so, you do then ensure that you will be supported. And it is important for you to feel supported as you move forward into that territory that is filled with unknowns. Remember again that it will be a journey and that you will take many steps on that journey. Do your best not to get frustrated with yourselves as you find yourselves not quite where you would like to be with a particular gift or ability. Most people, no matter where they are on their path, do feel that they should be further along than they are. Now, if more of you can accept where you are in terms of how much you've been able to access and share, you will then find that you relax into the next up-leveling of whatever it is you are doing. And so if you are just frustrated about how many people know about you and your work, you need to let that go. If you are frustrated about how many people are signing up to do readings or healings with you, you need to process that and let it go. You need to give yourselves permission to be where you are and give everyone else that same permission because those of you who are accessing your spiritual gifts and abilities are taking those very important next steps towards the evolution of consciousness that all of humanity requires. 
That is our assessment of where you are right now as a human collective. And we know that you will get to where you are going, but we just want to help you get there without having to beat yourselves up along the way. You don't have to crack the whip on yourselves and it doesn't serve you to be hard on anyone else because of where they are on their journey either. We are the Octorian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. they're going to say. <laughs> I had no idea. Namaste. Many blessings. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you have not uh, subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, please do, or at least consider it. Uh, there's plenty of places to click for that around the screen um, that you're looking at. I, uh, I still have time left in my sale that's going on till the end of the, the evening here on the 23rd in the US, um, I think about five and a half, four hours. Um, so do consider getting a session with me or a channeling lesson with me at danielscranton.com slash session for the channeled reading where I channel for you or danielscranton.com slash channel to sign up for a lesson or two or three or four with me where I teach you how to channel and use the coupon code love, L-O-V-E, that's how you spell love. <laughs> And click apply at checkout and you'll see the 50% um, taken off. If you're on your phone, you probably have to scroll a little to see it um, actually being applied. Um, an unfortunate thing for phone users is they probably don't always see it and think it wasn't applied. Uh, I also have an advanced group channeling class coming up in two days on the 25th, which is a Thursday. And that one's going to be, I'm almost certain, but I'll look anyway at, um, oh, it's not even in my phone. Yeah, it is. At 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern for the advanced group channeling class where the Arcturian Council does the teaching. And I just channel them for two hours and they teach you how to channel a bunch of different beings and collectives for those two hours. It's on Instant Teleseminar. It's so you can join by phone or computer. Um, there'll be no cameras on anybody. You can all um, relax about that. And um, you'll receive the two hour recording afterwards, whether you attend live or not. So if you can't attend it live, don't worry about it. It's at danielscranton.com slash learn. And then finally, there's a group healing event that I just moved to the 30th of the month at danielscranton.com slash group healing where you can choose one, two, or three things you want to heal within yourself. And you can choose one for yourself, one for your sister, one for your mother, whoever, wherever you want the healing energy to go, that's where it will go during that one hour of me channeling on Zoom. For everyone's intentions, light languages, codes, tones, all that will come through me in support of whatever you want to support. So that's what's going on here. I got my new basketball hoop put up in the driveway today um, by a nice person who does that for a living, installs those things. Thank God they exist because uh, it looked extraordinarily complicated and well worth the money spent. And now it's there and it's adjustable. And um, my wife and I have already shot some baskets on it and uh, Talea. We, even if at, at the lowest one, it's not low enough for her. So 
we'll have to get her a really tiny one she can play out there and to join me or us when we are. Um, so that's what's new and exciting here and she's out right now at the mall getting a, a new toy or, or something and uh, then she and I will be playing together later. Um, nothing's really new in that regard. We're still playing the same, same types of games with each other, a lot of chasing around the house. Um, I think she put her crystals away from the, from the kitchen table. Um, yeah, and there's nothing, nothing new really besides that to report, but the basketball hoop is very exciting. Uh, my wife and daughter are going to Singapore with um, members of my wife's family, so <coughs> I decided my time would be better spent here, breaking in the basketball hoop, hiking, and getting work done. So that's what I'm going to do during those days when they're gone. And um, I hope all is well with you guys. I hope you're having a nice full moon. I definitely had a disruption to my sleep. Um, last night, I think uh, I tend to sleep light on full moon evenings, and I felt that last night. Should sleep like a baby tonight, though. So um, I hope you're all doing well. I love you. Namaste. Be well. Take care of yourselves. Um, yeah, check out the website if you want to. Subscribe if you, if you haven't, and uh, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Okay, bye, everybody.